Hey everyone, this is Dawn and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another month of the Man O oh Man card collaboration which is hosted by Brandy at Left Handed Crafter and you will of course find Brandy's channel linked in the description box below along with the other participants. So this is a monthly challenge that we are doing for an entire year focusing on uh, themed cards for the men in our lives. So this month it, we are creating for the month of October and they are of course Halloween themed cards. So I recently picked up this kit from Tuesday morning and it was um, a little pricier than normal. I have noticed our prices going up but this was an authentic pack and there's a lot in here. Collection kit called Twilight and I thought this was really a lot of fun and of course I love Authentiques vintage and and uh, this was really cute. So I was, I went ahead and purchased this. And then I was looking at this particular page, which you see here. And there were a couple of, um, of these images in particular that I really, really loved. So there was these men here. And they're kind of like, have set sail on the moon. And I thought that was adorable. And then I loved this one here as well. There's a little boy kind of peeking out behind the, uh, it's almost like a scarecrow, but really it's maybe a broomstick dressed up um, with some clothing. But those two kind of stood out to me as men themes. And I saw these smaller sizes because these are really small images. So let's see, what are they? About a two one and a half by two inches, so very, very small. And I was kind of expecting them to be um, more of this type of a size, like a three by four or something like that. But no, this is the size and they do not come. Those images are not on these larger journaling cards. So I was like, okay. So what I did is I went ahead and created um, these two cards. And I did use journaling cards, as we know I love to use journaling cards um, to create simple cards. So these are both an A2 size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I did use a white cardstock base, and then I did ink up at the edges. And this um, little handmade uh, stamp, I got this years ago at, mm, I can't remember, it's Michael's or Joann's. Um, it's an Inka Dinka Do. Uh, stamp and I loved that so I kind of used it as the little hallmark on the back but I did ink up the edges and I have not put greetings inside I was going to put um, a happy Halloween however I do have a couple of um, October birthdays that I'm going to use um, these cards for my brother-in-law's birthday is actually on Halloween so these are the two cards I made so these are one of the journaling cards and then I just layered it on these papers and this second one here I just kind of offset it and then this here is from the branding strip on um, the paper so here is the uh, the strip on the bottom and that quote suddenly the day was gone night came out from under each tree and spread by Ray Bradbury and uh, I thought that quote was kind of cool so I used that from the branding strip and then just cut a little flag into it and then I just added a couple of um, enamel dots I did add some uh, stickles to the moon and some um, glitter pen as well where I kind of um, just add it a little bit to where you see the reflection in the water. So again, a really simple card. It's got the background paper, the one offset, the journaling card, and uh, the little banner here with the enamel dots. That's all there is to that one. And then this one here, I did um, layer um, this background paper and then I tore this one, which is actually the same one that I used here, just kind of tore it. So that gives a little extra interest to the back. Um, and I did, of course, use some black soot distress ink to ink up both cards. So I've got that journaling card. I have a punch where I added a few stars. And then, of course, here's that smaller image that I just offset. And uh, it already had that black border. And then I used a Tim Holtz word sticker 
creepy kooky freaky spooky so those are my two cards created for the month make sure you check out the links below checking out brandy's channel along with everyone else that is participating and uh, think about um, making cards for the men in your lives and then of course november we're going to be coming back with cards with um, a gratitude or grateful theme which of course is perfect for the month of november all right thanks so much for stopping by and watching so very much appreciate you love it if you give my video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i will see you in the next video until next time